I am Andrea from Bentley Systems. In this video, I will show you how to add seismic loads in the physical modeler. In the most recent update, there are three new load definitions, time history, seismic, and response spectrum. But before continuing with these options, I will explain the existing loads in the physical modeler. Nodes, members, and surfaces can all have loads applied in a StatPro physical modeler. Additionally, StatPro physical modeler uses a concept called load areas, which allow you to apply a pressure load over an area for automatic distribution to supporting members. The previous loads can be grouped in load groups or load cases. When load groups method is used, each load item created is assigned to the current load group, which is set in the status bar. When you create the corresponding analysis model, each load group generates a reference load case in the stat input file. You can then use this within primary load cases in any combination needed. The reference load cases are not directly analyzed. You can also group your loads into load cases similar to primary load cases in a stat pro. This will transfer directly as primary load cases in the analytical modeling workflow. It is important to mention that once you start a physical model, you cannot edit or add any load item, reference load, load definition, load case or combination in the analytical modeler. Let's go back to the physical modeler. As mentioned, new load definitions can be added in the physical modeler of StatPro. I will create a seismic definition. This definition can be added clicking in the catalog tab, then the add seismic button. The parameters required depend on the code selected. The process of adding a seismic definition is the same as in the traditional StatPro. There is a help panel where it explains each parameter. Just click in the show help button. Now I am going to add the seismic load cases. You can review all the added information in the spreadsheet on the left. The different tables can be selected from the spreadsheet tab. For adding a load case, go to the model tab, then click on the load case button. In the load case window, indicate the name of the load case and select the seismic definition category. The parameter set is the seismic definition that I already created in the previous step. In this case, you will need to select the direction of the seismic load that you want to add 
and the factor. I will create four load cases, two in the x direction, positive and negative, and the same for the c direction. For seismic loads, it is necessary to create an effective seismic weight of the structure that will be considered to contribute to the seismic base shear. All masses should be entered as positive value or with a consistent sign because it represents a directionless magnitude of dynamically active mass. The mass will be added as a load group in the StatPro physical modeler. Finally, load combinations are also available in the StatPro physical modeler. There are three types of combination methods. Linear combination, the square root of the sum of the squares method, and algebraic combination of absolute values. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.